Hello and welcome to another Simplified Astro video and today we're going to be looking at the uh, little adapter kit that I've got from TS Optics which will allow me to put my QHY Polemaster camera inside my iOptron CEM120 mount. Now the fixing for this is the same whether it's a standard mount, uh, the EC or the EC2. Uh, and it basically means that once you take the front cover, unscrew the front cover off the mount, then the Polemaster camera will be mounted inside and then the kit contains a small USB cable that runs the cabling through then to the hub at the back of the mount. Uh, so you just plug your USB lead into the back of the mount uh, instead of it directly into the Polemaster camera. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be really good because the, the potential for it is great. You know, I can just leave the Polemaster camera inside the mount then. Um, I guess this is going to be really good if you're moving your mount around. Um, mine's in a, an observatory or in a fixed position, so it's not really that critical. But I thought I'd show you anyway, because the, the kit's only 20 odd pounds, so it's not an expensive kit. Um, but it's potentially really, really good. So we'll open the box up, we'll see what's inside the, uh, the kit, um, and then we'll have a look at mounting it uh, directly to the mount. Okay, so we'll have a look at the, the box here. Um, as I say, mine come from TS Optics, but it's available from other people such as Alto Astro. Um, inside the box, you see here we have uh, the... It comes in a bubble wrap. So it's only a small little kit. Um, the kit consists of a few parts. So we've got the mounting plate. Um, for mounting the, the, the Polemaster camera mounts onto this and then this sits inside the housing of the, um, the CEM120. We have the printed circuit board and the USB cable. So this actually fits to the top of the Polemaster camera. So where your USB cable normally plugs into the Polemaster camera, this little USB port here plugs into that and then you have these little screws you've got some screws and standoffs here so there's a little, little brass standoff which I've dropped one there and there's another one there's two little brass standoffs as you can see there uh, and screws and these um, just basically mount through this and onto the pole master camera um, and then this lead here then runs through the center of the mount into the back hub on the back of the, the mount so you can plug straight into your computer. Um, quite a basic little kit but hopefully it's going to work well so we'll get it mounted to the, to the mount and see how it goes. Right so what we're going to do now is put the component parts of the, uh, the kit together. So we've got the backing plate. Now it's worth noting that the backing plate, this plate here, doesn't actually screw in to the mount itself. You've got these three screws here and they're tapered, they have a tapered collar. And what they do when this plate sits inside the mount recess, you screw these little screws in and it pushes a tab outwards. So kind of um, just squeezes the, the, uh, the adapter plate in place. And it's quite a good idea because it means that you can spin it then and rotate it to get your um, pole master in the right orientation. So we have our two mounting screws and our two little brass collars. Obviously our QHY pole master camera, um, the three screws that come with that. I actually took this off uh, my AZ EQ6. So I, if you do use something like this adapter, then you can just undo the screws and keep the screws for this one. Uh, you'll also need um, a Phillips Zero screwdriver, a standard flat bladed screwdriver, fairly small blade, six mil blade, and um, a posi drive number one screwdriver, and a 2.5 mil Allen key for taking the, uh, the rear hub cover off. Okay, so now we've got all our equipment ready. First thing we're going to do is take the little circuit board. Now there's no components as such on the circuit board, it's actually just a pass through thing so that you have a, a plug one end and a socket the other. So you don't need to worry about static. Now take the screws and put them in from the back side of the circuit board. And then take the little brass spacers and put them one on each of the screws on the other side. So we've got this now. 
Then we take a pole master camera, look at the orientation of the um, USB socket and plug the circuit board in, making sure the orientation is right and push it all the way home. And you'll feel it uh, clipping. And we take our small Phillips screwdriver and just do the two screws up. Uh, you don't need to over tighten these, it's only holding it in place. And that's the first part, so it's the circuit board now in position. What we now do is take our little mounting plate and you'll see in there there's actually three tapped holes in the mounting plate. Now you can do this with the, uh, the, the plate mounted at an angle so that the circuit board goes through the little gap. Then we take our posi drive screwdriver and do up a screw. Don't do it all the way up, just make sure that you can get all the three screws in position first. And then the third one. Okay, so all three screws are now in the holes. So this screw now we can just do up. This screw do up. Again, don't over tighten. If you over tighten it, you, you're liable to strip threads and so on, and we don't want to do that. And that one. Okay, so that is now the pre-assembly of the unit. So this is now ready to be mounted inside the mount. And the USB cable here, you see there's a, a socket on the back, that plugs in, and this cable now will run through the mount off uh, to, the, to the rear hub. So we'll go to the mount now, and we'll uh, take the cover off and put the pole master inside the mount. Right, so now we're at the mount. Uh, the very first thing you want to do, ideally, is to take off uh, the rear cable hub here. Now there's two Allen screws mounted in these holes here. Uh, what I would say is that if you're um, taking these screws out in the orientation I am, uh, be careful because they're not captive screws, so the screws uh, will fall out, so don't drop them on the floor. And there's only two screws. And once they're out, the whole back plate just comes out like this. Uh, now inside there, there's a, a USB port which is directly connected to this iPoloscope input here. So that's, uh, that's now going to take our cable feed from the Polemaster camera through to the, uh, the USB port at the back here. So now we'll go around to the front and we'll have a look uh, at putting the Polemaster in. Right, so as I've shown you before, um, this little plate here, this uh, screw cover comes off. Um, that's all aluminium so keep hold of that. Uh, so once that cover comes off there's um, a route straight through. You can actually see straight through to the uh, to the back of the mount through to where the uh, the hub cover come off. There hopefully you can see that. You see it goes all the way through straight to the back of the mount. So now we need to feed our um, USB cable through there at the same time as um, putting the Polemaster adapter into that hole. And you can see there there's basically just a little collar just on the edge of the, um, the recess there and that's what we're going to be sitting the adapter plate up against. Right, so for this part of the job we're going to need our uh, flat bladed screwdriver also with the USB cable just, just try and straighten it out a little bit just to uh, help you feed it through the mount through to the back of the, uh, the hub port thing there. So just push it down through. It comes out fairly easily. Um, it's not too much of a mission. You certainly don't need uh, draw cables or anything like that to get it through. Uh, so that cable's out now. Now to put the pole master in the recess there, you need to put it in um, with the hole here, the gap at the top, because you've got the fixing bolt for the counterweight arm and it just clears the circuit board. So that goes in there and you'll feel it sit 
home against the back of the recess and then you want to turn it so that your USB cable is facing to the left as you look at the mount. This is the way that QHY recommend that the pole master is fitted. So as close as you can to uh, the left hand side being straight. Now what you'll see is when that's sat inside there you've got access to the three mounting screws and those are the screws now that we're just going to tighten up, not overly tighten because all that they're going to do now is that the um, the chamfer on those is going to push the little tabs out onto the side of the uh, the recess and just hold the camera in place. So we now take our screwdriver, it doesn't matter which um, screw you start on, anyone will do. So we'll just take the easiest one to get to and just tighten it so that you can feel it biting against the, the tab. Again, don't over tighten it, you don't want to damage anything. And then the other screw. And then just check, make sure it's tight. Well, that's just the cover loose there. Uh, so that just turns still, so just another little nip. As I said, we don't want it to damage anything and we don't want to start stripping screws, but we don't want it to flop around. So it's getting the balance right. And I think we've about got it there. So that's quite nice and tight in there. Um, you can just take the cable out, the uh, the string off of this if you want, and you can actually take the cover off and, and leave it off. Um, my preference is probably just to leave the cover on and then tuck the, the string inside for once I take the cover off, I've got somewhere to hang it. And then once you've done that, the cover will fit back on with the camera mounted inside. And that's the front end, that's the camera mounted. So we'll go back round to the back again, uh, show you where this plugs in on the, um, the hub, and then wrap it up and we're all ready to go. Right, so back round to the hub cover here, you'll see the USB cable has come through from the, uh, the pole master camera. So we route that through here to this USB port at the back here. A little bit tricky to get in if you've got fat fingers like me. Um, and it's not too bad. Had it right the first time. And push it in. That's quite a tight fit actually. That's why I thought it was the wrong way around at first. That's quite a tight fit, which is quite nice. That's what we want. We want it all uh, nice and snug. So now we put the cover back on there. We have our two screws. Again, be careful not to drop these because they're not captive screws. We we'll just get one in place. Hopefully. And then we get the other one in. I tend to put the screws on the end of the Allen key so that they're already in position there. And once again with this, you don't want to over tighten it. You want it to be tight, but you don't want to start running the risk of stripping threads. It's only a small screw. And that's that. So once the rear hub plate is back on now, uh, you'll see here you've got the iPolarscope USB port. Um, because uh, connecting of the and using the um, the Pole Master camera is only a temporary thing, you don't keep it all plugged in while you're imaging. Um, I suspect I will just be plugging the USB into my um, mini computer to do a polar alignment, then unplug it and then uh, run ahead with a sequence. It's up to you. I mean, you can leave it plugged in if you've got a permanent setup. There's no reason why it can't stay plugged into there. I certainly wouldn't plug it in from here uh, to the dovetail plate USB. Uh, seems a little point in doing that, but you, you can just run it down to your, your PC. So in the next video, we'll run through the polar aligning routine. I wanted to get this pole master fitted so that we can use that for polar aligning. I have done it previously, but I just temporarily mounted um, the pole master on the front of the, uh, the little cover plate. But now we'll do it properly and I'll show you um, how to polar align the mount.
and see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.